Now everything is beginning, everything is beginning, everything is going to be all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, darling. Oh, Lord, my day. Yesterday was the longest ride I've ever done in my entire life, and today we're doing it again. You did 206 miles on a bike in a day? Yeah, it was terrible. He's carrying the food from now on. That's true that I agree. Too. All right, let's go. Okay, look left. Big cedar tree. 63 miles today. And. Even in school days. Yeah. Yeah. We lost him for like the entire day, I felt like. Beans with a carrot spoon. Can of beans with a carrot spoon. Big cedar tree. And I said, let's go see a big cedar tree. That's a big tree. That is a big cedar tree. It's a pretty big tree. I think she probably shouldn't have been flying a kite around here. Probably like at least two years old. That's a big tree. Like so there's the size of my thumb and that's the size of that tree. I hope thumb tree. I feel like we haven't seen him like all day. What's up guys? <laughs> and then we finally rolled into the south shore of Lake Quinault and came to realize that all of the campsites were full. So we pulled into the day use section, just like started making dinner on the picnic tables. It was great. So right now, that says day use only. It's reserved for day use only. Ethan, what's your, what's your plan to be able to stay the night here? My proposal is that we make a fake ID where our name is Dave's only, <laughs> and we claim that we reserved this campsite. Ultimately, I asked the camp host if we could stay the night in the day use area, and she was like, yeah, no problem. And we were like, okay, cool, like most walk-in sites, like $12. And I was like, let's go see how much this is. And I roll up to the sign, it's $25 at night. And we're like, what? That's outrageous. And I pull out my, my wallet and I have $16 in cash. 25 at night. Unbelievable. So I come back and I'm like, guys, we don't have enough cash. So I go ride to the like nearby lodge and I go to their front desk and then I'm like, oh cool, I'll buy a cliff bar and get some cash back. She's like, nah, sorry. We have no money. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and they look genuinely frightened of me at this point. And I can only imagine why. Because I had freshly washed my body in the lake. So I know I did not smell. <laughs> but I get back to where we're staying in the day use site and then Ethan walks over, some people staying next to us and he's just like graciously given $10 in cash. He's like, well, can we, like, you know, what can we do? And they're like, just like not accepting any form of repayment. And Did you guys noise. hit some tunes? Yeah, <coughs> we, we were blasting some Billie Eilish. Oh really? Okay, That's fun. I was blasting some Billie Eilish. We were dancing. That's fun. I was singing that song by 
Tennessee Ernie Ford. The 16 tons song. No. <laughs> Load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I owe my soul to the company store.